my name's Sam Walton. I'm a sous chef here in Bapendam Oyster Bar. And today we're making Oysters Rockefeller, which is a baked oyster dish. So we have oysters in the half shell, and they're topped in a green herb butter, which is laced with perno, and then they're topped in golden breadcrumbs. So firstly, we're going to dice some celery and some shallots. So then these go into some melted butter. We'll cook them slowly for five or so minutes till they're nice and soft. In the meantime, we can now start blanching and refreshing our, our soft herbs, our watercress and our spinach. The herbs we're using are tarragon, flat parsley and a little bit of chervil as well. Now this should only take 10 seconds or so. I can tell they're nice and soft now and you want to get them straight into ice water to set that green colour so the final butter is a really nice vibrant green. So, taking all of our greenery, straight in, try and break it up a little bit. And a little bit of perno. In goes the celery. And what we can now do is slowly add our softened butter. And as you can see now, it's a fairly loose, but nice and green, soft butter. So now hopefully our butter has started to cool a little bit. And then you just tie the ends, roll it up, and that's ready to go straight in the fridge. So once the butter's had half an hour in the fridge or so, you can take off a nice portion and we carefully unwrap it. In my opinion, the West Mersey oysters are the best in the world. On the east coast of England, where they get them from, the tidal waters bring in fresh nutrients every single day. They look after them, and we know that we can trust the quality. When we've got our cloth to protect our hand, we're going to go in at the pointy bit where there's a little hinge and you just want to gently ease the knife in. And once you're in, using a turning of the key motion, just pop the hinge. It's as simple as that. And on either side of the oyster, there's a little, uh, little join where the muscle joins the shell. We just want to release that from the top, release it from the other side as well. Once we've got our oysters topped with the butter, they're ready to go in the oven. Our oysters have had five or six minutes in the oven till the butter's melted and bubbling and you know that the oyster's going to be starting to cook a little bit gently underneath all that butter. And now we're going to top with our panko breadcrumbs. You want to be quite generous when you do this. Now these are going to go under the, under the salamander grill until you get them nice and golden on the top. Now they're nice and golden brown. So just at the end, we give it a fresh spray of perno. Just serve with a couple of wedges of lemon. And that's Oyster Rockefeller at Vivendon Moisture Bar. So the last thing to do is eat one. And at best just with a squeeze of lemon. Mm. Soft oyster, bit of a crunch from the breadcrumbs, that layer of perno going through the whole thing, and fresh herbs. What more could you want? I'm having another.